Hey, this is Steven with StevensGuitarLessons.com. I recently had some work done on uh, a couple of my instruments, and uh, so I've made a couple of videos here to kind of showcase the, the work that was done and the instruments themselves, and, uh, and, uh, and you know, just kind of generally check everything out. And uh, so this is the, the, the next video in that installment. Um, this is a uh, 2007 Gibson Flying V, and it's... Uh, uh, it was when I first got it. It was it was pretty well all original. Um, I swapped out the um, knobs for for the um, the the chrome knobs. I, I, I like the the knurled feel better, and I like the look a little bit better as well. Um, and then I had initially had the original pickups that came with it, I forget what the numbers are, 496R, 500T, or something like that, um, uh, that, were, that were the stock pickups that came with it. I, I, uh, I had another guitar that I, that I had sold that had 50, Gibson 57 PAFs in it, but the buyer wanted the original pickups that were in that guitar put back in it, so I did that, and I had the 57 PAFs, and I, and I had this guitar, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to try the 57 PAFs in that. So I had uh, my friend Neil, who did the recent work um, on all these instruments, and uh, Neil with Atlanta Custom Music. I'm going to have his contact info in the description below this video. But I had him uh, a few years back put in the 57 PAFs in this, and um, I, 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 was, I was pleased with it. I, I liked the pickups. I, I felt like this guitar kind of wanted to take off. This feels like a really, really fast guitar, just the, the Flying V in, in general, and, and this one in, in particular. It feels like it's uh, it, it's it's, it's kind of uh, hard to kick it into low gear, and and uh, that's when it, it's it's that it's that shifting back and forth where the um, 57 PF seem to, to to shine <clears throat> rather than being locked into to high gear all the time, but. Um, so I, I was I was kind of kind of not craving those pickups anymore, um, and uh, these Tony Iommi pickups were in my SG that's hanging up there. It's also what I uh, did another video on here recently, and then they were great <clears throat> in that guitar. I had no complaints, but I um, uh, really wanted to hear the PAFs in in that guitar, and wanted to hear the Tony Iommis in this guitar, and I also didn't like the stock tuners that were uh, originally with it. These, these are Gibson branded, made by Grover tuners, and I like the, the metal buttons on these as well. They they feel more substantial and more um, uh, reliable and dependable, and also kind of fit the theme a little bit a little bit better. Um, and then I had a problem uh, here not too long ago where it was grounding out when I would bend on the G or the B string um, uh, up above the 12th fret when I would really dig into a high bend, uh, it would just ground out and the note would go away. So um, I had Neil address all of that. I don't know if it was a fret leveling issue or a neck adjustment issue or, or what, but um, so that's what, uh, what what this was sent in for. Uh, so I'm gonna plug this in here and uh, and try this with a little bit of uh, distortion here. <laughs> But these pickups, um, not feeling anything with that grounding issue. Let me test that a little bit. Trying to, trying to dish it out, uh, dish out to it. So uh, that's cool. And 
pleased with the uh, the adjustment of the neck or whatever was done there to, to alleviate that so excellent um thanks Neil I appreciate it very good and um, I'll be back before you know it with uh, another video and we'll we'll uh, we'll take a look at another guitar thanks a lot <laughs> 